Good Saturday morning, starting off the day with full sunshine and we will have plenty of sun for today. Temperatures are going to rise above average as we head into the second half of our weekend. I'll break down your weekend forecast and we'll time out our next chances for rain coming up. And law enforcement agencies across the state are stepping up patrols this morning ahead of one of the busiest weekends for travel. I'm Bianca Reyes and coming up, I'll explain how local law enforcement plans to keep impaired drivers off the road. Plus, a Christmas morning explosion rattles downtown Nashville and police say it's intentional. We'll bring you the latest on the large scale investigation by the FBI and a review into the patient treatment of a Carmel doctor who has now died from coronavirus complications. Why she said she didn't receive the proper care. Fox 59 Morning News at 9 starts right now. From Indiana's number one news source, this is Fox 59 Morning News. And right now you are taking a pretty frigid cold look over downtown Indianapolis this morning. Thanks for joining us on Fox 59 Morning News. I'm Darius Johnson. Zach Myers and Jessica Hayes have the day off. I am joined here with your Met weather authority meteorologist Amber Hardwick and Amber frigid temps. Time to bundle up a little bit, but I think it's going to get a little bit better as you've said. Exactly. It should get better as we head it. even into the afternoon. It should be more seasonal closer to where we should be this time of year. But 19 is our temperature now and we have winds out of the south and it's that southerly wind flow that'll help temperatures to recover through the weekend. 18 degrees in Zionsville right now. Also 18 Greencastle 22 your temperature in Bloomington and it feels like 12 degrees in Bloomington right now with a wind chill at 7 to our northeast in Muncie. Life Guardian radar, it is quiet around the state. We're not tracking any rain showers or snow showers nearby. All from higher pressure, that's to our west. That's the clearing sky and quiet conditions that we have west of us. That'll slide east for today and tomorrow, providing us with quite a bit of dry time within the next couple of days. 35 degrees by 1 p.m. And then we should climb to 38 right around 4 o'clock this afternoon. That'll be the high temperature here in Indianapolis. Even warmer weather on the way for our Sunday. And we'll have the latest timeline for our next chance for showers coming up in your forecast. Wow, that is the sound of the early Christmas morning explosion that rattled downtown Nashville, leaving windows in the area shattered and damaging over 40 buildings. We pulled some of the 911 calls just moments after that explosion. Take a listen. Command to all units, command to all units are confirmed with PD. This is an explosive device. And this morning, that section of downtown Nashville remains shut down as officials continue their investigation. According to the Metro Nashville Office of Emergency Management, that explosion came from a parked RV in the downtown area. Authorities believe that the explosion was an intentional act. Besides the three hospitalizations, authorities in Nashville believe human tissue was found at the scene of the explosion. There are also reports of an officer who was knocked off of his feet and suffered hearing loss. Police say that the incident started when officers received a call about shots being fired. When they got to that area, they came across an RV that was playing a recording that said a potential bomb would detonate within 15 minutes, prompting police to clear the area. Nashville Mayor John Cooper says the person or persons responsible will be brought to justice. Now, at the end of the day, I think all of us, I certainly have, have gone from relief that there were not more casualties, and that's a, an amazing thing that there were not, particularly when people begin to see the, the devastation on 2nd Avenue, to relief that there were not more casualties, to now anger and determination and resolve, and a resolve to, be, to rebuild and not to be deterred and to bring whoever was responsible for this to justice. There were also witnesses who say that they could hear and see the blast from miles away. I was laying in bed and there was just the biggest explosion I've ever been, ever, ever heard. It just knocked the windows from the front room into the back. 
It knocked the front door off the hinges. The water started coming down from all the pipes. Now this morning, we are learning the identities of the six officers credited with evacuating people from the area just minutes before that explosion. They are Brenna Hosey, James Well, Amanda Topping, Timothy Miller, James Llewellyn, and Michael Sipos. The FBI is asking anyone who has any information about the explosion to call 1-800-CALL-FBI. And here is some new video this morning. Right now, police are investigating a stabbing overnight at a Circle K gas station on the east side. This happened around 2.30 this morning where police responding were responding to that gas station on Shadeland Avenue. A man was taken to the hospital with injuries. Police say another man has been arrested for charges, including battery with a deadly weapon. At this time, we do not know what led up to this, but our assignment desk is working together more information and bring you that as soon as we learn more. Police are also investigating a Christmas homicide also on the east side. Officers tell us they found a victim in the 3700 block of North Shetland on Friday just before 7 in the morning. At this time, there is no one in custody, but police are still working to try to determine the circumstances leading up to this death. If you know any information, you are being asked to contact Crime Stoppers. That number 317-262-TIPS. Remembering the lives lost this year due to the coronavirus, every Friday, David Josie and his wife strike a gong on Monument Circle. Each time that gong rings, it honors 1,000 lives lost to the coronavirus. Yesterday, they hit it more than 300 times. Uh, we don't want people, especially at holidays, when losing uh, loved ones can be so difficult. The grief can be even greater at a holiday. We wanted their grief to be recognized and supported. Friday, health officials reported an additional 5,500 coronavirus cases. To this day, more than 7,400 Hoosiers have died of the virus, and 488,000 people in Indiana have tested positive for COVID-19. Coming up at noon, we're expecting the latest numbers from the Indiana State Department of Health. Also right now, an investigation is underway after a Carmel doctor who contracted COVID-19 died after she says she received improper care because she was black. Dr. Susan Moore says she went to IU Health North due to having COVID-19 symptoms. She documented her experience in a video and posted it to her Facebook page. She said she was told no when, asked for when she asked for remdesivir to help treat her symptoms. She says she was later discharged once her symptoms improved, but says she ended up hospitalized at a different location less than 12 hours later. So I don't trust this hospital and I'm asking to be transferred. This is how black people get killed when you send them home and they don't know how to fight for themselves. I had to talk to somebody, maybe the media, somebody to let people know how I'm being treated up in this place. They say a diverse panel of healthcare and diversity experts will conduct a thorough review of Dr. Moore's case through an external investigation. And happening today, today marks the beginning of what some consider to be one of the busiest traveling weekends of the year. Local law enforcement says December specifically is one of the worst months when it comes to car accidents. Right now, Fox 59's Bianca Reyes is live outside of IMPD headquarters to explain how local agencies are planning to step up patrols during this busy holiday season. Hey there, Bianca. Good morning, Darius. Officers say all it takes is just one poor decision, one lapse in judgment to make a holiday turn horrible. And that's why they think their safe travel program will help get impaired drivers off the road. Now, the Indiana Criminal Justice Institute is one of the many agencies involved in the state's program. They help track data and develop new ways to lower crime. 
According to the group, by this time last year, Indiana saw more than 415 alcohol-related crashes. Nearly a dozen of those resulted in fatalities. Now, that's why police say they will be looking for drunk drivers and anyone not wearing a seatbelt. These heightened patrols are expected to go into the new year, but officers stress it's all about keeping you and their own officers safe this holiday. Well, something else I would like to say and, and remind folks is, you know, these agencies, these officers that are out there, um, you know, they they have families too, uh, and they would like to be home home with their families, and and so just I just like to thank them for their efforts as well. Now, as I mentioned, the state's safe travel program will run through the end of January, and this year, more than 200 agencies across the state are participating. Now, coming up in the next half hour, I'll bring you an update on just how the pandemic has impacted the number of people traveling this year. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Bianca Reyes. Back to you. Thank you, Bianca. This time right now, coming up, actually, the time right now, 9-11 on the dot. Coming up, Congress is urging President Trump to sign a massive COVID rescue package. We will take a look at the state of COVID relief as deadlines loom to help millions of Americans. And check this out. We got a ride with law enforcement as many of them were not home for the holidays. We followed one police officer during his shift on Christmas Day.